I was dating a certain vegan actress who I'm not allowed to name Spiller. because of uh well no it's a legal thing there's a restraining oh, order sorry. Okay. but uh <laughs> after salt and pepper we got into a lot of trouble pay attention creepy weirdo I would like a strong powerful woman to protect me mm -hmm. to fight for America yep be square the playable characters podcast hey everybody welcome to the 170 fourth level of playable characters podcast how are you everybody my name is brian mcginnis you know that i am the solo host now of this amazing podcast we fired calvin we fired all up and it's just me they weren't pulling their podcast weight that's not true at all we still love everybody but um this is fun guys this is uh we've been doing this for a bit now with just me and i'm having a great time hey quick shout out to my quarantine squad if you guys don't have a quarantine squad i suggest you get one so myself Jeff Cerulli, TJ Del Reno, Amanda Baramke, Tom Fata, and Nikki Vargas. We've been playing. We started off early, I guess like late March, playing like Jackbox games, Quiplash, things like that. Then they got us into Settlers of Catan. Never played Settlers before. My first time. It's a pretty fun game. We were playing digital, obviously, online. Then we were playing Ticket to Ride, which is super fun. Then we were playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, all cross-platform and stuff. Um, it's really fun to go through this when the world is ending with a group of people. So I suggest you all find some friends to play online games with if you can. Uh, dude, play with me. Shoot, shoot me a message. I'll play some games with you for free. No Patreon needed for this one, folks. I will donate my time and play online games with you if you have a PS4 or a Switch. Or if it's cross-platform, whatever. Uh, follow us at Playable Podcast on Twitter and Instagram, please. Uh, if you haven't yet, shoot me a follow at Twitch, twitch.tv slash laugh at Brian. I'm going to start doing some fun retro game theme comedy shows very soon. It's going to be uh, super fun, we hope. Um, so um, speaking of retro games, let's dive in today. The guests we have. All right, quick quick backstory, guys. Shout out to my friend Tony Chiesa. We used to play this game back in his 8-inch fucking TV uh, back when we were like 10 years old, maybe 12, I don't know. Uh, on his Genesis. I, I I didn't have a Genesis, but some of my friends did. And whenever they had a Genesis, I would say, do you have Toe, Gem, and Earl? They were like, yes. I'm like, let's play it. And we'd play it for hours because it's super fun. I love this game. I, I I backed the new one on Kickstarter. I gave them like 350 bucks on Kickstarter, I think. I was so excited when this game was coming back. I got it for Switch. I got it for PS4. Huge fan of this series. The, we, we, we've had cool guests before on this uh on this show obviously you guys know it. we've had cool guests who's cooler than our guest today toe jam and earl here everybody how are you guys hey yo hey yo what's up is that toe jam how are you buddy you know just playing with my third leg <laughs> oh man how you doing how you doing ryan hey hey earl how are you man long time fan Oh, thank you. Glad to be on the show. Likewise, likewise. Does Toe Jam always just play with his third leg? Uh, he does it way too much uh, when he's nervous and just sometimes when he's bored. It's just, it comes out and <laughs> it comes we, out. we've talked about it in the past, but you know, Toe Jam's going to do Toe Jam. That's just he, how he is. He is. He's cool. Like, what, like, what, like, like, simple question. Just what is up, my funky dudes? What, what's going on lately? Huh? Well, I'm sure you know that I do have a literal third leg. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. It wasn't a euphemism. No, it was not a euphemism. Okay. I play with my penis at other times. <laughs> okay. Good to know. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah. So what else is going on? Well, we're back. Oh. We're back at work. We're back yeah. in the studio. We're putting out another game. One just came out and we're you know, we're we're back at it. The team the 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 show must go on, and we're it, back together after what 20, 30 years? Something it? like that. It's been it's, yeah. been it's been way too long. Way yeah, too long. Earl, Earl, it's good to see you again. I mean, you never came to visit me in any of my multiple rehab. Oh well, we we also agreed we wouldn't talk about that. Well, this is uh, this is this podcast. We get we get real. We we, we speak the truth. All right. If you want yeah. to, Tojan, what 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 happened? Well, I, I actually have to bring it up because Dr. Drew made me sign a contract <laughs> okay. when I was on Celebrity Rehab. And, uh, I missed you know, it was a, <laughs> it, yeah, no, yeah, no, it was good. It was good. They, we, they took a, a break for a while because a lot of the people, uh, died. Yeah. A lot but, of, um, yeah, that, that'll do a, it. Amazing, 
amount of people died. If you look into this, you should be concerned. But yeah, go on. Yeah, the, the the success rate was not good. Yeah. So, uh, but they decided to reboot it because the ratings well, were great. Yeah. Yeah. The rating, the ratings were really great. Turns out people are really into suicidal ideation. So I, yeah, we have that problem in society here now. We want to see celebrities either get rock bottom and then go to the top and then rock bottom again. So it's like, it's, it's, it's a weird disease we have, so to speak, you know? Plus I came up with some of my best music in rehab. <laughs> oh yeah. Not just a couple funky beats. A lot of musicians in there. A lot yeah. of musicians, a lot of, I, I got, we did a lot of collabs, you know, oh, that's so awesome. for some reason being sober makes you want to do other stuff. <laughs> more, more boring stuff than create music. A, a lot of them had never written a song sober. So that was, that was interesting. The music, not as great, but mm. something to do. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe not in tune as much if you're all not sober. No, right. no, not as in tune. Uh, not really as creative no. as something i'm used to as a musician and an alien right but well as a collaborator uh, and an alien i was i was present for some of our greatest hits you recall to jam oh no no you definitely you definitely had input mm. i would maybe go a little higher than input on that but oh, oh. i understand no i understand you had a you had a little rough spat in the past but you're you're good now and we're back at it we're we're promoting these games yeah and, you know making a living that's awesome. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. In fact, the opening theme song to the next season of Dr. Drew will be by me. I just have to get an addiction again. Oh, well, we, they can't oh. use a previous beat you've already made? Do you have to go full in character, I guess, or full method? to? Yeah, no. See, I don't do remixes. Every time I've been to rehab, it's been for a new addiction. Oh, wow. How many that's, times part of my cre- that's part of my creative process. This will be <laughs> This will be uh, six. Wow. Like? There's that many things yeah. to get addicted oh, to. Oh, yeah. Earth is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we stopped looking for parts of the ship pretty much 15, 20 minutes after we crashed the first time around. The rest of the time was just Toe Jam looking for a fix. Oh, uh, all, those, all those boxes of presents. You thought there was something. Yeah. In there. It's for kids, presents, you know. Oh, I got it. But it's not, but, but it's not I really. St- I it's still like presents. Hey, uh, <laughs> Speaking yeah. of the ship, we I just want to make it certain right now that it was not my fault those humans got back to Funkatron because that has been a widely widely spread uh okay. and spurious lie and I want to clear that up right now. So you, you're, you're saying you didn't take humans back with you to Funkatron. Nope, that was not me. I don't know how that happened and I am still wanted and have several warrants on Funkatron because of it. Why would this? Why, why would there be a warrant for that? Why wouldn't they don't want visitors? Or I mean, well, the humans are kind of destroying the environment, we, and uh, I know. I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys know this about you guys, but you're really xenophobic, even if it's not your planet. <laughs> we have a problem. We have a big problem right now. You're literally on another person's planet and complaining about aliens. Yeah, that, that's not good. Um, Earl, did you have a problem with the humans in Funkatron? Or you know what, I love people of all creeds and colors, yeah. and I'm just, you know, I'm out here spreading love and and making business deals. And I, you know what, honestly, I've been very productive uh, since we brought since mm-hmm. a few human beings have been brought over to oh, nice. Funkatron and nice. get some good record deals out of it. I, I I'm just about making deals. I, that's that's all I'm really concerned about, and I think. Uh, Toe Jam talks a little bit uh, uh, too much about his past addictions and yeah. his problems with the laws and his xenophobia mm. and the various diseases well, he's spreading to other planets. And um, the fact that he really kind of copied most of his music from n- late 90s R&B artists, all oh, that. Oh, geez. Way too much. It, but, it, it, no. this, is, this is hurting me, my heroes. It seems like some things aren't aren't right between you two. Oh, no, no, no. We get along fine. We, we are absolutely the... Okay. Since this game, this new game came out, we have buried the hatchet. If there was a hatchet, right? I'm not saying there was, but if there was, we yeah. have buried it. It seems a it seems, a seems a bit like a Chuck D flavor Flav thing. Chuck does all the work, Flav's off doing his own thing. Is that I would agree? Yes. Oh, all right. I, would, I mean, I shouldn't, but I would agree. <laughs> Toe Jam, are you the flavor Flav in, in Toe Jam and Earl? Well, if if we were to go with this metaphor, that would also <laughs> mean that I was the more musically talented one. Whoa, wow, Chuck would not. 
I appreciate I that one. You would agree with that. I play, yeah, I play several, several different instruments. More than a metaphor, but I would just... I play to... several instruments. That's true. And the third leg does help with that, with piano and guitar. You know, oh, foot bet. pedals. And the drum, the, so, the, kick, the kick pedal. Yeah, the, the, foot, the drum, the kick snares. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah, the third leg is amazing for music. Okay, mm. good to know. All right. Let's talk about, like, when, when, when you were, when you first crashed... How's your spaceship now? Um, like you mentioned before, or like, are you still looking for pieces, or is that all fixed? And can you fly around to other places now? Oh, that that old piece of crap. Yeah, we it it got us home. Okay, hopefully we it's it's actually in. They're they're talking to us about putting it in the uh, the the that Hall of Fame, the Music Hall of Fame. Really? Uh, we ke- it keeps getting pushed back every time they think we're gonna mm. in- get inducted. They they say mm, I don't know if kids really relate to you anymore, and really what the hell is the point of this property? And a lot mm. of kind of hurtful things. Yeah. Uh, it, you know it's possible. Fingers crossed. All the fingers crossed. All the well, legs crossed. Definitely. Yeah, and yeah, but it it would look great. I think it I, would. I mean, I'm sure like Jefferson Starship has a. There's Starship there, right? Yeah, exactly. It could be like right next to, or perhaps even above. Yes, Jefferson Starship. It's much it better. Sense. It's a iconic. It, it's also going to be difficult because, uh, and Earl, I didn't tell you this yet. Um, the uh, the ship kind of got repossessed. I made some bad investments, oh, but I'm so pretty deep. sure we can get it back. I think Elon Musk brought it, and he seems like a pretty reasonable guy. He likes he, space. So he likes spaceships. Our 30 year old spaceship got repossessed. What possible <laughs> fine <laughs> did you have incurred? What kind of loan did you have what? on that spaceship for that long? Well, I, I owe people on several planets money. All right. So, uh, so you could understand, man, Brian, this is why, you know, you, yeah. uh, you know, Toe Jam and I have, uh, we have a great working relationship. Things are good. We yeah. are working together again. There's right. another game coming out. Find out more about it probably at toejamandearl.com. I don't Toe know. Toe Jam and Earl Con? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And you find out more about this. It's going to be amazing. Personality-wise, we don't exactly match up. Yeah. But, you know, it takes all kinds to make this beautiful globe spin. Just like me and Calvin. Rest in peace. Just right. Like Cal- yeah. right. Wait, wait he's dead? dead? No, he's not. He's not dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's fine. I told well, you, you mentioned the money problem you had. Um, you're still wearing the bling, I see. You got a lot of bling on, like almost too much at this point. I would say too much, yes. It's a, it's a lot. You're, you're Earl's so much bigger than you, and you're wearing an earl size amount of, 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 of bling. Can you can you speak well, on that? Well, I, I feel like it's a aesthetic choice that I have made that I need to keep up in appearance. Like, what if we get back on Summer Jam? Like, I <laughs> need I, to have... Yeah this stuff like we were on summer jam we were actually there when jay-z brought out michael jackson holy cow yeah because as we all know he's an alien so yes. we yes. we were earl was very instrumental in making that happen what that's true i managed to ink that deal uh, i did not get any recognition or profit from it oh, the, the, no. the recognition i i would do i would do a, I, i'd be okay not getting if i got the profit if i got the money yeah, like, it's either, one, it's one, one or the other. If it's, if it's right. neither, that's not cool. And I did nothing. I got I got no credit, money, recognition, control. I have no say in anything. Um, and they were kind of rude to me. I'll, also, I'm I'm very sorry to hear that. Hot ninety seven kind of sucks. It was, it's hot ninety seven summer jam, correct? Yeah, yeah. They didn't even put us on the summer jam screen. I would have been there if I knew you guys were there. That'd have been cool. Yeah, I, we we did we did perform in the parking lot one year and that was received well yeah is it because you're both semi-nude is that why earl's not wearing there, a shirt toe jam doesn't wear much is it there yeah. were mentions of that <laughs> um but i had my hat and the jewelry on which also serves as clothing sure right. so it, covered- it was semi-nude mixed with the fact that we are primarily targeting our music towards children mm-hmm. that i think may yeah. have children I- people off. I was accused of making an anti-Semitic rant, but that was proven to be false. Okay, yeah, it, it was more than just uh, Jewish people he was targeting. It was, <laughs> exactly. that why it was proven false? Okay, I got you. It wasn't solely. It was. There were a lot of um, ethnicities <laughs> that had been touched 
fun, not literally, but maybe literally a little bit, but like it was the nineties and the rules were different back then. Yeah. What was it? Uh, told you, were you, was this one of your blackout periods or anything? I don't remember any of it. Um, <laughs> Probably then. I was told secondhand and shown some videos. Uh, I, I was assuming it was Photoshop, yeah. but, uh, but it was the nineties, so there wasn't Photoshop. Yeah, yet. Back there, there, yeah. There's yeah, that. Definitely. Um, but like like I said, this was all told to me, so I don't have any proof that it actually happened. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm glad you know you still overcame that. I guess someone and have a new game. Well, I mean, there were there were good outcomes, yeah. right, Earl? We we got some notoriety. Absolutely. We, I mean, specifically of the um the incidents because I, we don't know if the Netflix documentary is going to be made yet. But okay. they are in contact with me, and you know, behind the toe jam. I nice. think it's great. I think it's binge worthy. Maybe, be, maybe between the toe jam. Between the toe jam, That'd be a good one. like toes. Got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. good. Uh, but oh, our careers overall have been pretty much all uphill, with like maybe a slight dip for a little while. Right. Then, 25, you know, like, 25 years about. Twenty five yeah. years, but that's, like that's our, our lifespan of an alien. Who knows how long that is? <laughs> that's a blip for you yeah. guys. I mean, we don't know. We don't know how long Toe Jam is going to last. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm we, very, we, I'm very hardy. That's good. My my, uh, my species on Funkertron is known for for living several several hundred years. Oh, I actually think the the uh, chemical induction is what helps us because you know I went vegan for a while. Um, I was dating I was dating a certain vegan actress who I'm not allowed to name. Spill um, because of Spill because it. of uh well no it's a legal thing there's a restraining oh, order sorry. Okay. but uh <laughs> after salt and pepper we got into a lot of trouble we can't oh, wow. yeah Specific yeah who has been with whom I got you. but I, but I think but or, I think or, if we actually got Lisa Left Eye Lopez on that one game like we'd have but uh she died yeah it, 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 it was sad I really yeah, shouldn't have told her to get on that plane. I want to make that clear that we had nothing to do with the death. That wasn't your spaceship. Nothing. No, no, no. I mean, I told her to get on that flight, but right. but it wasn't like you didn't do anything. No, no. I mean, and after Aaliyah, like I should have known not to, but I'm just I really like small planes, and I encourage people to get on them. Yeah. Uh, Kobe, I told him to get on a helicopter, and that okay. didn't work out either. So I, I still can't. I still can't talk about that. That's, that's still too personal for me. I've not been involved in any of this. this I get upset about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not personally responsible. I just make well, bad. Right. I just give bad advice. Apparently, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Um, here's a question I wanted to ask you guys: What is it like? You know, so a lot of your presents that you pick up, you don't know what they are until you open it, right? You just kind of like mm -hmm. walk, you pick something up, you don't know what it is. What's it like accidentally putting on a pair of rocket skates? And just flying off the side of the planet, or just flying over a lake. Like, what's that like? It seems like it's awesome, but I wouldn't know. Pro Jam's second major addiction was a result of a rocket skate accident. Really? What happened? There? Obviously, obsessive compulsive disorder because he's okay. going around and collecting things all the time. Okay. The second one was about uh, his back injury. Mm. Uh, severe adrenaline. Injury. Yeah. Oh, it was adrenaline. So you just got high on that. You were just excited about the rocket skates. Oh, a lot of oxers. <laughs> we lost Toe Jam for a minute. <laughs> oh, no, I was here. I, just, I still kind of black out. Acid. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't but, know about uh, your edit or no, what. First, it was the adrenaline, and then it was the injuries. Mm. Right. And then it was the oxies. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, he, he was basically like. Um, Chris Farley, where like the the prat oh, yeah, I have more. I have both more and less bones. More and less bones than what? <laughs> I don't know how to calculate that. I think he is kind of delayed, isn't he? Where is Toe Jam calling us from? Maybe his Wi-Fi is pretty bad. I am <laughs> actually on a uh, Ursa Minor three. Uh, yeah, that at the moment. Um, I might explain it. Yeah, I had a deal here that when I was working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they have these crystals here. If you crush them up and let them soak through your skin, they get you really messed up. <laughs> it seems like it. I think it's going through your Wi-Fi now as well. Yeah, uh, you're a bit of a delay, uh, Toe Jam, which is the first time. Hey, that's what happens, folks. In 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 the new uh, podcast era, 
to do remote podcasts. So that's that's what I that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like 30 seconds behind. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 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 Earl. Yeah. Let me, talk, let me talk to you for a second. What was your what is your uh, yeah it, it it's it's <laughs> about it's it's I think we just lost Toe Jam. His audio was cutting in and out a little bit here. Yeah, it's uh, weird. I, I mean, I don't understand what that's about. Oh, wait, what is, what is this? You have a collect call from Toe Jam. Oh, my God. Are you are you oh, kidding me? Toe Jam, are you back? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Uh, they only let us talk for a certain amount of time. Are you in jail doing this interview? <laughs> well, remember those crystals I was talking about? The yeah, yeah. crystals you confessed to during this video? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, they're highly illegal. Yes, they're highly they illegal. And you are in jail. Well, yeah, I'm in jail already. There's no point in not saying it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I guess, I guess he's got a point in, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got a point. People, the game is outrageous. It's flying <laughs> off the shelves. It is. Everyone should get it. There's n almost n probably no drug use mentioned in the game at all. Good for children. It's just that, that weird that weird doctor guy who like, ah, he laughs and he pokes you with the needle, though. Yes, but that's a, that's about vaccines, really. <laughs> Okay, and that's good. It's, it's a bigger, a bigger issue. I, but, I mean, Toe Jam, he's got a rough patch right now, but he's he's yeah. gonna come out the other end. I promise you. I hope. I hope so. This yeah. is very Chuck and Floyd here. Hey, no, I think things are gonna go great. I've actually been selling that guy my blood. <laughs> Wait, the mad scientist? Yeah, he pays really good money for it. Something about genetic recombination. Is I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Is he poking people with your blood? This is like some Oz shit from HBO right here. <laughs> well, he, he said there was a chance of there's like some weird viruses might mutate, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's nonsense. He said something about that back in March, uh, and <laughs> I, I have heard that. nothing in the news that suggests oh, that. Yeah, so, I wish, I was on, wish I was on your planet. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, Earl, what is what is your favorite present to find, or least favorite present to find? Let's kind of dive into some of that stuff. Do you have one? Oh, man. my So, basically... I, I love the rocket skates and the Icarus wings. Those are super fun, but... The wings were amazing, and they, yeah. they were they were great. And, you know, somebody of my heft, you know, being yeah. able to, to get around faster is sure. useful. I think the game kind of exaggerated how slow my movements were. Hmm. If you know what I mean? I think it was just for, like, com comedic effect, but I okay. understand. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that's... Anything where you can uh, showcase the music, really. Right. That's okay. the most important thing for me. So when we got a chance to dance with people... The radio, the yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, and that really was. I mean, effectively, I'm a musician at heart. I don't, I don't make music. I'm a producer, right. but I'm a musician at heart, and yeah. that's what I think is the most most powerful thing. That that that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, the boombox stuff. It's fun, a little pointless in game, but it, but it's fun to do. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, is music? Does music ever have a point? Well, I guess maybe. I don't know. I'm not a musician. I'm not a musician I, either, but I produce a lot of music. Yeah. And <laughs> I would say that it probably doesn't have a point. Oh, interesting. Told you. So you're admitting that I'm the musician. I would not say that. <laughs> you can't have a musical band with no musicians. Well, <laughs> we could come up with many examples. <laughs> Backstreet Boys, number one. Yes. Look, if, if we had more games, and I'm not saying that it's the fault of any Semitic people that we don't have more games, <laughs> but if we had more games, I think that it would be possible to display both of our musical abilities better. And I, I think about that a lot, why we don't have more games. I do as well, yes. You should be, you should even like, I mean, put you in a Smash Brothers characters or something. Would you guys want to fight like in a tournament like that? Oh, yeah. I have so many guns. That's. <laughs> That's actually also another reason why I'm in jail. That is um, a, a frequent reason why he's in jail, yes, for the amount of guns he has on him. I mean, for, from several planets, things that are that are just just awful. Just not even really. not just guns. Even it's it disintegrators. Wow. Uh, yeah, I got this thing that literally turns you inside out. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it all started with the tomato gun, if you remember that. I was going to say, all you had was tomatoes. Yeah. Now you, you want guns? You, you know what? Sometimes I get the tomatoes isn't that accurate or powerful. So when I see that ice cream truck with a fucking guy with the sledgehammer, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind maybe blasting him away. But I didn't know you. Told you that you had all these. Like, well, that that's another addiction that started. Like, like you said, the tomatoes weren't satisfying me, so I had to move no. up to uh, AR-15s, oh, uh, assault shotguns. Yeah, um, probably all shotguns. Which is, it, it is one of the reasons why he likes coming back to Earth so much because you people really. It's pathetic. Yeah, mwah, love your gun. <laughs> we love. I don't know why. I don't. I don't personally. I, I, I got. I actually got arrested for the grade six disintegrator that I got, which is illegal in three galaxies. Yeah, but man, does it work? I bet. <laughs> it seems awesome. It used to be illegal in four galaxies, but it really works. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the elevators? That seems like we don't. We have elevators here, but they just go like from floor to floor. You guys get an elevator and you just float away. You fly through space and time. I don't know. Like, what does that feel like? What is well, the deal we with that? Original. Uh, we had the first concept for the for the the. TARDIS, um, oh, oh, like the uh, Doctor Who thing. Yeah, and the Br the Brits just stole it from us. We were that was an originally, and the aliens in that were supposed to be like real aliens, and now they just look like white men. Well, white men, the worst. Yeah. white women who are aliens on our planet. Yeah, but we don't give a fuck, huh? Apparently, no. We're like, we're like where's my smoothie? You know. Also, uh, Bill and Ted stole that from us, but we didn't care because. <laughs> That movie's awesome, so I didn't really. Yeah, know. we were okay with that. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, were, weren't they? Weren't they the first? No, they weren't they before your game. I don't know. You guys no, had the idea. Time travel makes it weird. So yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. Is we went back and gave them the idea for this. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it the does. Last... Just don't think about it too much. But it makes yeah, sense. it makes sense. The last time I was back to Earth, it was weird. Like the ferment was the same every time. The what? Like the land was the same every time. Like the first time we went, the land changed ram randomly every time we got out of the elevator. Mm. Now it doesn't. Not as much, but that may have been the drugs. It might, it might have been, it might have been hallucinating on something. It <laughs> felt like it was different every time. Firmament before? Is that what he said? I think yeah, so. I said firmament. I've been learning a lot of new words in jail. <laughs> <laughs> From it's like the page of day calendars, where <laughs> trying to get his associates. All right. They love, they, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my associates. I'm proud of you, too, Jim. That's great. That's when do you when do you <laughs> when do you get out this time? Because I'm sure, like I said, like like Funkatron just seems like a nonstop party. Your family and friends, I'm sure, would be happy to see you. When do you get out next and go back home? Uh, there's a friend of mine that's getting one of those disruptors. So whenever he gets that, I'll be home. Oh, so you're not going to do your whole sentence? You're just getting out. <laughs> oh, please, I've never done a whole sentence. <laughs> I have a life. I can't be sitting around here all the time. He told you that's a. I think that's that's the thing. You should probably. I don't know. Maybe try to not become a better person, but I just mean like try to do your what, what's it called? Like I've done my time. Mm -hmm. ju justice was served, right? Type of thing. And maybe do mm. your time. I don't know. I mean, I, I, you're you're more fun out. Obviously, I don't know. If you wonder why we. We've gone this long without having like a real new game. Yeah. And I'm not gonna point fingers or or, or tentacles or anything. Right. But Dojam's issues with uh authority mm -hmm. have been a struggle for us. Okay. Um but I, I mean I you know, he's been my he's my oldest friend, and okay. I wouldn't change him, not for all the Taylor Swift's in the world. That's I'm representing sweet. Taylor Swift now. Oh, really? Um, she's not an alien. That's and a she's big, very, very productive. That's and a big get. Yeah, a major, major get. Good, good for I'm you. Super excited about this. So, so is like, so you don't just wait. Do when fun. did this happen? <laughs> I have my own life, Toe Jam, uh, and you know what? You do not. I definitely <laughs> do. Listen, you. We're not going to get into this, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. What do you do? You sit around and eat ho hos because that's the only thing you. Really I am on a show for Earth. second time on this interview. Someone has made light of my weight. I have lost a lot of weight in the last few years. <laughs> the teacher yeah. has put me on a strict diet, and I, she has made my life who beautiful. My wife. Oh, beautiful wife. Yeah, you're married. <laughs> you were invited to the wedding. <laughs> didn't RSVP, but then crashed it. Oh, geez. literally! I guess he forgot with the spaceship. Oh, do you have footage of this? 
we all do. Cell phones were around at that point, and we all have grainy Android base because <laughs> iPhone no, can't afford that. <laughs> uh, footage of you crashing into our wedding. Can I get some footage of that? It might be good for the show. It, we, it might work for the Netflix show if it ever gets off the ground. That's yet. true. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll, we'll we'll get that. We'll get that together. People yeah. want to see that. Yeah. So yeah. you don't just do funk then, or you do other type of music. It's like, what's your favorite type of music? Is it not funk, or do you like rap or country? I don't know. Well, no, I, I still have my 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 roots in 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 funk and R and B. Sure. sure. I'll I'll be honest. Um, it's controversial. I've done a lot of done a lot of recent country western. Because it, you know, it sells. It happens. The money represents something. You know, yeah. people do want to hear it. And plus, Big Earl sounds like a country singer. I think it probably helps a lot that, name, that yeah. people think that I am a I am a Texan and that they, they will work with me. A giant white man. Yes, yeah. right. And or at least I'm the right hue. I'm I'm more yeah. on the yeah on the one than the other. No offense, Toe Jam. Right. But um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I don't think of myself as selling out. I'm just doing what needs to be done to get the work done. I got you. Yeah. Told you, told you. What about you? Is you still nobody fun? mentioned anything about you selling out? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> I, re- I, I resent uh, the accusation that I am sensitive about this. Okay. Well, during my many rehab since I learned about something called defensiveness, and uh, you seem to be displaying a lot of defensiveness. Like, why do you think you do? You think you sold out? I absolutely do not think that, and I am outraged that you would suggest it. I mean, yeah, some people call you that on Funkatron for working with the humans. Who calls but, uh, you that on Funkatron? Wow. Who calls me that? Who dare? Who calls me a sellout? <laughs> what is the uh, name of the person or persons? Earl's getting mad, Toe Jam. Well, well I, I mean, it's there. There are several primetime shows. Uh, where it's been when the mentioned. Focus is on me being a sellout. <sighs> if that were true, I, that's because I am the most important person to come off that rock. Wow. Well, if you were still connected with your fucking Trotian culture, you know this. But oh, obviously, oh, I get it. The person who thinks I'm a sellout is the one talking to me for maximum security. No, l- like I said, folks, it's this- not my opinion. It's several. But you don't have a name. You're just saying it's not my opinion. It's just somebody who said that to me once upon a time. Mostly the people who've been most severely affected by the humans that you work with there. Listen, I I love people of all creeds, colors. Yeah, you say that, but the humans are really making a mess of Funkatron, and they they blame you. People people blame you. Earl, what what do you think about that? I think that Toe Jam maybe is doing a little projection of his own because hmm. he's upset that I have a successful career outside of our thing. Sure. And that all he can succeed in doing is signing up for Celebrity Rehab because he thought he could meet Tony Danza, right. but it's going to be the other guy from Taxi. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that. I mean, Toe Jam, what, what do you think? Are you, are you jealous of Earl's uh, other success outside the group? Uh, I I have um, in, in group we have talked about how Earl has a joyless existence based put solely on materialistic gain. This is, I don't believe that. This but is it's been said. The said it. The group said it. Right. It wasn't you. It was the group? A group of people I don't know mm. in rehab. Tony Dan Jeff Conway said that about me. Did Jeff Conway I mean, say that about me before he died? Did Jeff Je- Conway die? Maybe. Je- I don't know who died. I just know people died. <laughs> Jeff Conway was oddly enough on your side, um, but uh, one of the uh, funky bunch, not the main one, one of the other <laughs> funky bunch, very critical. Very critical. Yeah. Not the main one. <laughs> it was one of the bunch. Right. Not Marky Mark. One of the bunches. Yeah, one of the bunch. Oh, I mean, Todd, by the right? end, by sure. the end, the the definition of celebrity got really loose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You tell. Yeah. Oh, they were with you in rehab. I got. Yeah. Okay. That's not a celebrity. I mean, I'm an A-lister, but yeah, I was not surrounded by people who had the same draw as me. I got you. That makes yeah. Sometimes by season ten, they gotta just find anybody. Yeah. Uh, if you if, if you've done a commercial back in the '80s, they'll find you. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, there there were people, you know. I mean, there were there were people that I was a fan of, but they had kind of faded from the public eye, kind of like Earl. Ooh. 
Mm. Ouch. Ouch. Mm -hmm. I didn't want this to get to I me. Mean, I'm, I'm glad we're getting this out. Maybe you guys needed to discuss this. I don't know. Dennis uh, Rodman was very critical. <laughs> Does he know what he's talking about? Very. He's a he's a traveled man. I mean, he was kind of like my life coach. I mean, we had Dr. Drew, but like I think I learned more from Dennis Rodman. I I maintain that Dennis Rodman was originally from Funkatron. And he may, his maybe, own. but he's done more drugs than I am, and he honestly doesn't remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we got to wrap it up soon. Um, I, I don't want to end it. I know people want to. Maybe we have you back on again. But anything else you both want to get off your chest to maybe clear the air or you know say what you want to say? Earl, do you want to go first? I absolutely. I think the new game uh, is great. <laughs> it is. And the, the, the next game is going to be even better. We're going to do uh, probably Indiegogo so that we don't have to, you know, like we could get <laughs> all the funds without having to like – reach a goal you know what i mean sure sure and it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be spectacular it's probably gonna be somewhat of a rebrand of the thing you already played already but that's okay because it'll be on the next platform it's gonna be ah. Will jam and i have never been closer we're technically physically apart right now but right. that's because of you know the law yep. and everything's gonna be amazing uh buy taylor swift's new album <laughs> and uh yes yes okay i like toe jam any, any last not, not last words but yeah, we're 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 aiming for uh we're aiming for PlayStation Five and sure. um mm. Heidi Heidi Fleiss and Tom Sizemore are gonna help me out with that. They're gonna they have certain uh, connections in the Semitic world, oh. and we think we think we're gonna we think we're gonna get that done. I plan on having a new album out with uh with the Funky Bunch. That's awesome. Who, I would tell you, the Funky Bunch. Who wouldn't buy that? The Funky the part. Which part of the Funky Bunch though? The well, the that's that we're talking about me. That's that's to be uh, that's to be announced. But with Stephen Adler oh, from, from Guns N' Roses, well, he he was in. Stephen Adler is going to sign on for a drummer, and okay. uh, yeah, you know some other people that I've met in rehab. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Earl seems so, a little upset that maybe he didn't go with your label, Earl. Or I mean, uh, generally we like to put out actual acts, not. Fever dreams of a lunatic in jail, but yeah, sure. That's what I. That's what I'm upset about. Hey, look, Tom Sizemore still has a lot of pull. I wasn't talking about Tom Sizemore being in the lunatic in jail. <laughs> what happened between me and Tom Sizemore does not relate to this particular situation. He he's gotten over that, Earl. You should too. What happened? It's uh, that actually we probably shouldn't talk about. It's very. It's, it's very. Okay. If yeah, you want to. We can come back one day, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I know what would lighten the mood. You guys want to play play a quick game with me? Sure. Let's play a game of Wed Bed Dead, everybody. Oh my goodness! Uh, we're gonna play uh, America's favorite uh, game show on a podcast. Actually, the world's and Funkatron's included now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna give you guys three video game characters. You gotta tell us who you want to wed, who you want to bed, and who you want dead. It's very simple. Um, I'll try to show some pictures for you on the screen as well. Uh, this first one. Uh, she is from the Mortal Kombat series. If you look at the screen, it's a little small, but Sindel. If you guys know Sindel, she is uh, like a 10,000-year-old evil queen. She's got that long white hair. Oh, yeah. It can, can grapple you. It can rip you apart. She can scream your skin off. So keep that in mind. Pretty scary. Um, but up, oh, <laughs> I think Toe Jam, he's got to put another quarter in the, <laughs> in the machine. Um <laughs> So Sindel, uh, we'll just keep going and see if he comes back. Sindel is uh, very old, but looks good for her age. Uh, I'm sure you'd, you know, you'd agree, Earl. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Sorry, that was, that was my fault. You're good. Did okay. you put another quarterback in the machine, Toe Jam? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. these things cut off, and then we got to go to the commissary, and it's a whole thing. Oh, we I don't, don't I don't, know what it's like talking to you from, from prison. <laughs> I don't want you to get into a fight with any inmates waiting to use the phone. I hope you're okay. Oh, no, I run this place. Oh, good. Really? <laughs> You're a regular. Yeah. All right. So the first one, Sindel, the queen, old evil queen, but superpowers. Uh, next one is, not, there's no picture, the NBA Jam announcer. We all know him. He's very excitable. He's a rah-rah, sis boom -ba type of guy. From downtown. Right. That guy, he's so- uh, He's well, heating up. Right. I don't know what he looks like. That could be your own, uh, your own imagination there. Um, his next one from the Resident Evil series, the main guy, Chris Redfield, who's, um, you know, he fights zombies. He's fearless in a way. He's a kind of generic soldier dude, soldier boy, but 
Um, oh yeah, I, I ran into her once at a party at a. There you go. At at a Puffy's place. Nice. Mm-hmm. How is he? He seems a little. I mean, he's seen he's a lot. Chill. Of shit. Yeah. He's, he's chill. Chill. Yeah, he sees so much stuff that like nothing really phases him. Right. I mean, he, he he did a little dance with Diddy. It was it was cool. Oh, that's cute. All right. Um, let's have Tojan go first in case uh, he gets booted off again. So, uh, what are your choices here, Tojan? Wed, bed, dead. So you got Sindel, Chris Redfield, and the NBA Jam announcer. What do you think? Uh, I think I would bed the NBA announcer just yeah. for the the epicness of it. The compliments, like, right? Yeah, like, he's going downtown. Like he just can't from deep. deep. Mm. From deep, yeah. You know, he's on fire. That may not be the best one, but you know, it depends on what you're. What you're into, but he make you feel yeah. good. He make because you know you're doing a good job. Because he's yelling and cheering, and having a good time. Yeah, everybody likes positive re- reinforcement, especially in bed. You like yeah. to know that everybody's having a good time. It's yeah, very, uh, very expressive of yes. his feelings. Yeah. Yes, I I think I would dead Sindel because although I am a feminist, mm. uh, I don't like women who are too pushy or in charge. Okay, and uh, yeah, and that that might so you know dead her. Yeah, she's and then I, yeah, and I would marry Chris Redfield because he is prepared for anything. That's a really good point. He, he's <laughs> and he's got a lot of guns, which I'm sure you guys can chat he's about. He's got a lot of guns. He's got chainsaws. He's got bats. He's got a golf club. He's got yeah. a camera for some right. reason. He's got herbs. Uh, yeah, yeah, herbs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Very good choices there. Earl, what do you think? You feel the same way or what? As you know, um, I am a happily married Mm-hmm. Person, I am uh, married to Letitia. Love mm-hmm. my life for a number yeah. of years now. Sure. Um, and you know, just uh, my my second half, my partner in crime, the 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 person who uh, major investor in my company. Yeah. Just one, so I mean, but I'll play along. I'll play along because yeah. you know I'm I'm yeah I'm, I'm fun. I'm still fun. Just for fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, so I would I would um, I would dead would definitely be the NBA announcer, and he oh. knows what he did. Oh, interesting. <laughs> He knows what he, they did. And Rodman, okay, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Okay. Uh, I guess Wed Sindel. Mm. Because, <laughs> I'm, I'm happily married, but I'm not dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Yeah. And, she, uh, and she's and she's like a uh, queen, so you'll, you're like instant royalty if you marry her. Well, I'm I'm I was thinking about betting her, but uh, yeah, yeah, I can marry her too. Yeah. Um, I, th- I thought you said Wed. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I may have, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the last one, uh, dude, I think you had uh, a couple of uh, men on the uh, on the list, um, yeah. male humans. Mm-hmm. And um, as I said, I am um, primarily in the country western music production at this time in my career, and sure. for that reason, I feel like I cannot answer the the question about whether I would wed or wow uh, the first the bed, first uh, the first male. abstain ever. I think. Yeah. Well, I think for. Um, cancellation reasons mm. i don't answer that question mm. uh a, a country western cancellation is a, a very it's a, it's a real thing affair yes it yeah it's like, it's, it's more than internet right Let's put it that way it, uh, yeah. it doesn't just stop at them tweeting bad things at you your house gets burned down wow uh, yeah they tend to show up it's not yeah. not good Told you, what, it's, it's not fun told you how do you feel about earl not wanting to answer the question I mean, from a business perspective, I get it. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> we're trying to build something here. But okay. uh, I mean, from a personal perspective, I think it's quite cowardly. Mm-hmm. But you know, Earl was never known for his for his uh, outspoken views. Okay. He's, I believe once he said, uh, "Republicans buy music too." Oh, geez. so. <laughs> Earl, come on. I mean, I'm just true. It's true. There I guess are, sure. There's 51 percent of the population. Oh, it's too much. It's, yes, that's <laughs> you got to be. They're both sides. Yeah. I mean, that that also figures into a lot of the uh, the sellout talk back on Funkatron. But uh, you know, mm-hmm. Earl wouldn't know about that. <laughs> is very anti Republican. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys have a uh... Funkatron is very liberal. Oh, very yeah. liberal. I, I, it's, it's it seems liberal. like it seems. Yeah. Like it. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. I'll do mine quick here. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bed Sindel. I'm, I'm going to bed her. That's fair. Um, I think it'll be fun. You know, um, <laughs> it might be interesting to have someone take charge and tell me what to do. 
uh, whether it's mean or not. It just I feel like it, it would be a fun thing. Plus, you know, I see that it is. Yeah, very she's so in my my personal experiences. Yes, it is. Very there you go. And like I said, she's very old, but she looks good. You know, for ten thousand. Um, I'm going to wed NBA Jam announcer because I want that. You're doing great all the time, rest of my life. <laughs> you know? I, I get that. If I cook some dinner, excellent. Like it would just be a fun mm-hmm. all the time. They don't get boom mad. shakalaka, right? I mean, they're <laughs> always in a good mood. They're always b- building you up, and sometimes you just need that, especially nowadays. Um, I just realized I may be mixing something up with double dribble, but who cares? Hey, they're all no, no. That, that's all. That, that, that's all jam. And yeah. then. Um, Chris Redfield, he's seen a lot of death. He's going to see one more, and that's his own, unfortunately, in this situation. Uh, I mean, he, he might welcome it. Yeah, maybe he's just like, hey, let's see what being a zombie is all about. Maybe I'll even have a zombie bite him to turn him, and he can kind of live that way or unlive that way. I don't know. Um, so those are my choices. We all we're all winners here, except Earl, I think. But but, yeah. I, but again, I understand. You know. uh, Earl, I I think I am uh, the best, the biggest winner of them all. Not only do I have a lovely wife in the form of Letitia, my yeah, partner, sure, I, my my confidant, uh, but also we have a great new game coming out. Right. Look for the the GoFundMe real soon. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. GoFundMe just a little bit more streamlined between us and okay the fans. Right, so it, was, so it was Indiegogo. No, you you already changed it to Maybe GoFundMe. Great up a little bit go fund me and then go directly into our go fund my my habits gotcha, gotcha. yeah we're, we're we're getting we're getting on that uh on that ps5 heck yeah i hope so mm. be great well it's backwards yeah, compatible so you, it's backwards compatible so you already are you know That's nice so there you go <laughs> um, See, i said it and manifested it put it out there from true from prison making moves man um you gotta manifest it Toe Jam and Earl, this has been the biggest thrill for me, uh, having you both on. Uh, Toe Jam for most of the time. Earl staying with me the whole time here. Uh, but thank you guys so much for for doing this. You know, this is the first, like, really tell-all. I, I think I think it's going to help the new game. It's going to help the new show you try to get, all this stuff. So um, Thank you so much for having us. We're big fans. Thank you. Uh, we, we've never been closer and more in sync with each other. Yeah. Despite, you know, little hiccups here and there. The the new game is going to be great. Yep. Just look, put, use our PayPal and just send us money. <laughs> Venmo us some cash, and we're going to get this out. It's going to be amazing. You get uh, you can send money to my commissary. Okay. There. They'll yeah. they'll they'll. And then. Will you get it'll, it? It'll, it'll be there when I get out. Gotcha. Well, good luck, Toe Jam. Hopefully, you get out soon. Earl, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, this has been amazing, guys. Thank you so much, everybody else. Thank you for listening, and we will talk to you all next week. Bye. Today's playable characters were played by Frank Hablawi, Earl, and John Minus, Toe Jam. Find them both at nonproductive.com. That's non-productive.com.